Hi, it's Hans at happierman.com. Today's topic is be more selfish to get back into balance. Well, I think a lot of us go wrong in this misguided idea of trying to be unselfish. And by doing so, our lives get totally out of balance. You know, we, we should be balanced between living a good life and helping others. But some of us, quite a few of us, kind of go the other way, where we're so unselfish that we're way down here and then the other people are up here, you know, and you have to get more like, like this. And what I'm trying to uh, get you to think is, is if you've been like this for a significant length of time, you're going to have to go more like this and be much, much, much more selfish than you are now. And it will not be easy because if you've been living like this, going from this is a great big change. But you're going to have to if you want a good life. If you want to continue to have a bad life, to bend over backwards for unreasonable people who should be doing things for themselves, yes, you're going to have a bad life. But since you, if you don't want to have a bad life, you're going to have to take care of yourself. You're number one in your life in spite of thousands of years of propaganda saying that you're not, you are. And if we all would think of it that way, we all would have a very good life. But the propagandists have basically ruined millions and maybe billions of lives with this ridiculous propaganda. So I am suggesting to you listening, you and me, if your life is like this and you're low, get it like this. You get yourself on the selfish side. Do most everything for you. When people ask you to do things for them, say no. Practice saying no. Practice coming up with reasons for the no, excuses, reasons, rationales. Uh, you're gonna have to have some excuses starting out, but eventually you'll be able to just say, no, I don't want to. And then you can pick and choose, pick and choose your no, your, your, your no is based on that. But uh, if somebody says, I took care of you, now you have to take care of me, just say, ah, no, not, uh, that isn't going to happen right now. Uh, this is happening to somebody I know right now, and this is for that person, so maybe that person will listen, but when somebody... You, you don't need to really do anything for anybody if you get right down to it. I mean, there is probably a certain obligation to take care of your children uh, when they're less than 18 years old, but that is kind of the extent of it. Uh, everybody else is, is just going to have to take a, a very, very back seat to your your needs and how, how how can you the the way you tell if you need to start saying no to other people more is just look at your life and the the quality or lack thereof of it if you're sick if you're unwell if you're unhealthy if you don't have much money if you don't have things set up the way you want them if your life is uh, going poorly, if you're not really getting anything in your life the way you like it, that would suggest that you're not, that you need to start saying no to the people who are asking you to do things all the time. 
And until you get to that point where you're at that position of strength where you have plenty of energy, plenty of health, plenty of money, plenty of time, plenty of energy to give, then you, you really shouldn't be giving anything to anybody. Uh, for one thing, the quality of what you can give when you're coming from a low position is so small that it's insignificant really in the in, in in the other person's life. I'm sorry to be so blunt, but you may need to wait to give for years until you get your life kind of straightened out. Right? Your, if your life is unstraight, meaning it's all kind of bollocked up, it's jazzed up, you're not you don't feel well, you don't have any really thing to your name then you really have no reason to give to anybody. So think about that. The, re the people who can give are, are strong and have their lives together. When you don't have your life together, you really shouldn't be giving anything of it. Because you, if you're already low, giving to, to more, giving to someone, is going to make you much, much lower until you're the person who needs extremes amount of help. And we, we don't want that. We want people to uh, not need so darn much help. So what, well, what normally, what, what seems to me is happens is the people who already don't have much to give are giving too much and then they uh, they're really the quality of what they can give is so small that it doesn't help the person who's being given do you see what I mean uh, think of it that way you want to get to the point where you're you have so much that giving to another person is just a small fraction of what you have to give, but yet it makes a huge difference to that person's life. When you don't have much and you, you don't really have anything to give. So think of it that way. Get yourself selfishly with extreme urgency Get yourself together. Make yourself as big and as strong and as powerful and as wealthy and as affluent and as whatever oint that makes the most sense to you. And then you can choose to help others. But in the meanwhile, if the others are, are trying to get a lot out of you when you really don't have that much to give that that isn't going to help you at all that is just going to make your life far far worse so anyway give that idea some thought all for now